Welcome back to 90 Second Philosophy with Carneades.org. Today we're going to be continuing Philosophical Paradoxes with Part 5, The Grandfather Paradox. This paradox is a paradox for the possibility of time travel. So imagine that you were sitting in 2013 and you build a time machine. And for whatever reason, maybe just to tempt fate, you decide to go back in time and kill your grandfather. So you go back to 1940 and you find your grandfather when he's young, before he had your father, and you kill him. The problem is when 2013 rolls around, there's no one to go back in the time machine, which means that in 1940 no one was able to kill your grandfather, so your grandfather was able to have your father, who in turn had you, who in 2013 built a time machine and went back in time to kill your grandfather. The problem here, of course, is it seems that we're stuck in some kind of eternal loop, and you seem to be in a position of both existing and not existing at the same time. Here's the argument in a more concrete form. If you went back in time and killed your grandfather, you wouldn't exist. If you didn't exist, you couldn't kill your grandfather. If you didn't kill your grandfather, you would exist, and then go back in time, kill your grandfather, and start the whole cycle over again. This seems to mean that time travel backwards into the past is impossible because it would create these ridiculous circles and these ridiculous paradoxes. That was the grandfather paradox. Next up is the unexpected hanging paradox. Watch this video and more at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.